welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. This unboxing is from DIY Digital Art. They did send me these items for review, so thank you to DIY Digital Art. Let's do this first item here. It's this box here. Um, I saw they had some storage items that, you know, were not purely diamond painting related. So I just was, let's try it out this box. So this box is $3.25. It's supposed to have 24 compartments. Let's see. Oh, and it has like a hook up here, but I'll probably cut that off because I'm not a big fan of those hook things. And so does this come off? Yes, it does come off. You could take off these here and I'm assuming the middle, I'm, I wonder if the middle one could come out. See, see, I got this for a certain reason, but if the middle thing doesn't come out, then I might not be able to do what I wanted to do with it. Um, Cause the, all these middle portions come out, but yeah, no, I don't know. So my original plan with this was to use these smaller containers here that I had gotten in one of those zipper packs, but it just seemed too overkill to use these smaller containers for the zipper thing. So I was thinking that I'd be able to put, I was thinking I'd be able to put the, these in here, like, but the problem is you can't take these middle ones out and I thought you would be able to, or maybe, no, you can't, but there's still other things you could use this for. Yeah, yeah see, it would have been perfect. Look, it's the right height. I could have probably fit, um, I could have probably fit a couple of these across and then I would have had something to put these in. Um, but yeah, see, I think that would have been, I would have been able to put two, four, six, seven, and then probably put in like five across here and it would have fit. Alas. But I could think of other things to use with this, like you could make this a uh, pencil case holder or something for your diamond paintings. Let's see. There. I have pens. You could make put some pens in there. Um, my original thing that I was planning to do with this didn't work, but I'll probably figure out other things to do. I could, yeah, see, I recently went um, to my sister's house and I wanted to diamond paint and I brought my pens with me, but I realized, you know what? You know, when you're like in school and you have all those pencil cases, well, guess what? I'm not in school anymore. I don't have any pencil cases. So this would have been actually pretty good to hold um, like my diamond painting accessories in here. It would have been great if I would have been able to take out one of these centerpieces yeah, no, it's, it's, it's in there, but, but I still think it's a nice container here. I'll, I'll find a use for it. I always have uses for these things. So yeah, this is a $3 and 25 cents. I was just trying to find my, here it is. And it is mm, 19 by 12 and a half in centimeters or you know let's do inches it is about maybe seven and a half inches a little a little bit more than seven and a half inches by a little bit more than five inches so yeah a nice just simple container to use let's see next thing next thing is actually a diamond painting well i think it's a it's a, it should be a diamond painting trying to where did I put this up oh, there it is <clears throat> so these are these should be Christmas decorations so ordinary toolkit and these are special drills and these are Christmas Christmas ornaments so so these have so I'm not going to take them out because I'll probably lose them, but it does look like there is some string and then some beads here. So these are supposed to be double-sided Christmas ornaments. So here is some mittens here. Here is a Santa hat. All right, it's supposed to be that way. Um, I don't know if the Santa hat is being used the correct way, but it's kind of being used like a, like a stocking, but it still looks cute. 
Um, here is Santa's sack here with with a tree, I guess, and a teddy bear. Now, see here is a stocking being used the correct way, not like this hat here, but stocking here. And and here is a wreath. So the material is just this like thin, flexible plastic here, um, but it is double sided. So this is five dollars and twenty five cents, and it. Let's just do the wreath since it's the most circular. So they're about like eight centimeters. Yeah, about eight centimeters in diameter. So probably like most of these are about like eight centimeters in the widest length here. So let's look at the drills. If I could open it. So. These are special shape drills, and there's some pink here, ooh, some stars, purple, green, some blue. I like this color here. It's like one of my... I, I probably keep repeating myself. <laughs> and then, so these look like they're just all ordinary rhinestones except some stars. Um, not that rhinestones are ordinary, they're just the ordinary sized rhinestones. <clears throat> so these should be quick, and you should see the finish at the end of the video, assuming I actually finish it. Well, we'll we'll try. We'll try. Why can't I not put this back? Okay, there it goes. It's in there. So next, I let's do this one. This one is another special shape diamond painting. So ordinary toolkit. Like I said, special shapes, and here it is. It's uh, another paper quilling inspired diamond painting. Yes, yes, you're like, how many of these can you do? Apparently a lot of them. <laughs> so I'm just trying to flatten it out as best as possible. So yeah, here it is. There are 15 colors in this, and it does look like there is some sort of crystal code. Um, so drill field looks very clear. I don't think I've ever had any problems with the drill field on any of these diamond paintings. My main problem is mainly that since they are in white circles, you, have, you do sometimes see the... Um, the guide circle underneath, the, especially if it's a lighter color, if it's a darker color, you will see the white underneath. Um, but yeah, it's these, I don't know, daisies, I would guess. Um, or is that a sunflower? Or maybe that's a sunflower, that's a daisy, and that's a random pink flower. Daisy, maybe, also. <laughs> I do like that the flower petals are these special shapes. They just end up looking really, really good. So, hopefully, I'll be able to finish this one with the Christmas decorations, maybe. Or this could be a future one. Either way, I'll probably kit this up and then see if I finish it. So, some rhinestones here. Oh, these ones are... Oh, these are the AB, like, Domi drills. Some green rhinestones here, some bigger rhinestones, some marquees. These look like really, really big teardrops, more marquees, a bigger size marquee. Ooh, I, I don't know why, but I really like the gold dome ones. And then these orange slivers. And is this a smaller? Yeah, these are smaller than these ones. So they're, they're or, um, slivers also. And then these must be a smaller size gold dome thing. And then some green ones, I'm guessing, for the for the leaves. So yeah, I think this one is going to turn out beautiful. So, did I say how much this one was? This is $5.75, and you know what? I don't think I, I measured the thing, so let's see. It is a 25 by 34 and a half. So, let's put this away here. Okay, next one. So this next one... It's 
a little different. It's not a flower. You're like, June, do you not, how could you not do a flower? <laughs> so, ordinary toolkit, except the plate of wax is actually pretty big. And hey, look, the drills are in bags already. They do not look like they're in order because or maybe they are. No, there's a 22 there. So 16. No, no, they're not in order. But look at how nicely they are in this bag here. Ooh, they, this, that's some nice color. I really like that the first color is this lovely um, greenish blue color. It's like a mint color. So ta-da, here it is. You're like, Joan, that's like completely outside of your diamond painting taste and I'm I'm like no it's actually not I do like my food diamond painting <laughs> I would actually do them more you know if I found ones that I actually liked the the picture of but it says it's it's they called it a retro poster so I'm going for back in the ancient times when donuts were seven cents because now i think donuts are like like a dollar or something for the fancy ones um i remember going to this donut shop and like one donut was 2.99 so seven cents um you wish right i would probably eat so many donuts so it says best donuts in town fresh and delicious and then there's two donuts here or no wait there's a third donut right here so there's a third more canvas flodge donut and I never lived in a time where donuts were seven cents, <laughs> except, I don't know, our donut holes could be, they could be seven cents maybe if you buy like a pack of them from some really, really cheap donut place. So it does look like there are 22 colors. There are DMCs and all the symbols are letters. And I think the drill field looks really, really clear. I actually think this one will actually be really easy. It looks like a lot of color blocking with just kind of splashes of extra colors for the shading, like, you know, in here. Um, but yeah, I think, I think this will turn out delicious looking. <laughs> so yeah. Here are the drills. I'm not going to take them out because there's no way I'm going to be able to put them back in here. But they are kind of like, they have these blues that I really like. And then they have the fall colors, which I kind of like also. So, hey, I didn't even think this. you could pretend it's a fall diamond painting. <laughs> but yeah, don't I wish donuts were seven cents now. So um, that is the last one for this video. So let me move you a little bit up so you can see everything. So there is that one here is the flowers because what's a unboxing by me without flowers here's the storage container and here are the ornaments i will finish at least the ornaments for the end of the video and i will attempt to finish this also for the end of the video um so i will see you later so i'm back i just kind of want to show you what i ended up doing with the container i was planning to do it with that those little bottles but then now i'm like okay what i'm going to use this with so it actually does fit um my washi tape They're the ones that are a little bit more um have a little bit more it is a little bit of a tight fit but it still closes so um yeah this is all the washi tape that i ended up buying because i thought you needed washi tape to put on the sides of the canvas fyi you don't you could just use cheaper masking tape but i so yeah this is my not really use washi tape connect collection. I might, I should just use them. But yeah, I, this is what I ended up doing with the, the box. And then I just put like the little dividers at the edge here. So I also finished the ornaments here. So here is the um, Christmas bag gift haul. I don't know. It's Santa's bag, right? And then it is double-sided. Um, Here's the Santa hat, or wait, it's that way, and it is double-sided here. And the stocking, the wreath, I really like the wreath. The wreath, I think, is the cutest one. Um, and the mittens. So, I don't think I even wrote anything on this one. There were nine colors. Eight of them were crystal rhinestone, one special. This I did this over two days. Um, and yeah, no, no real comments. And 
Also, there's this one here. This was actually diamond painted by my mom. Um, and I asked her, do you have any comments? She's like, no, I had fun. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think my, mo my, my mom diamond painting anything. It's going to help me in giving you more constructive um, finishes, but you'll get to still see the finish. And, um, you know, when you don't work on it, it's it's a lot different when you're trying, when you're looking at it, it's like, ooh, it still looks nice, but I, I don't have any, like, personal um, stake in it or anything. But no, I, this one is absolutely beautiful. I think if I had done this, I would have enjoyed it, just because I'm, I'm a big fan of the specials as the flower petals. And this part here, for whatever reason, it just looks really blingy. I really like, I really like how the clear drills are on that. And yeah, I mean, this is just really blingy. Even the white drills are the AB dome ones. Yeah, I think I would have enjoyed this if I had done it. But um, in case you want to know, it's there were 15 colors. One of them was that AB. Four were crystal rhinestones and 10 were specials. My mom worked on this for a, over two days. And yeah. So... No, I have no comment other than I think it looks really beautiful. Um, and let me tell you, my mom has really gotten into the diamond painting, so you might actually see a lot more finishes on my channel. But here is the finishes for this video here. And oh yeah, here's the container in case you want to see it. Um, so thank you to DIY Digital Art for sending these items and the other um, diamond paintings for review. And thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.